Hey, hello everyone. Bruno here, Bruno Capuano. And today I'm going to show you how you can fine tune, not fine tune, how you can refine your prompts when you're working with local models in a super, super easy way. So let's jump to it quickly. So this week we are, we were having a talk where we talk about with my friend Emiliano about the image, the cam, the traffic jam camera analyzer, which is an amazing project that analyzes camera traffic from Tenerife. And when you have the camera, it basically says you have a dashboard here where you can see if the camera, if that specific camera is there's traffic or not there, or if it's getting there to got more traffic or no, it's kind of a nice one. We talk about this, we use a GPT-40 model to analyze this, and we also show a way that you can do this using Olama with models, with Llama 3.2 models. And I mentioned that in order to do that, what I did, I basically use Olama with Llama, uh, with Llama uh, 3.2. So I have my Olama instance here running in Docker. And if I go to my instance and I open the terminal, I will see, let me move the terminal here, that I have a couple of models locally. I have Llama 3.2 Vision, Pi 3.5, and Llama 3.2, the normal one. But in order to test the prompts that I usually, that we initially use with the GPT-4 model, we change it. I change a couple of prompts here, and I use this tool, Visual Studio Code, in the extension, I have the AI toolkit for Visual Studio Code. And once you install this, which is for free, which is free, the next step will be to add a model here. So I can go in example, I'm going to edit one, so you can take a look. I have here my uh, Llama 3.2 model, and basically here, first step is define the URL. This is running locally in Olama, so I have localhost 11.434, v1 chat completion, then the name of the model, then the display model, and finally, if you are going to add an external one, you can define the authentication header here. Like in example, if you are connecting to the OpenAI APIs, to Azure, and more. So you have everything here to add your models. Once you are, have your models, you can load your model in a playground. And when you have a model in the playground, depending on the capability of the models, you can, in example, let's pick up one of the cameras models that I have here, image, traffic cam. Let's do this one. I have here. I have here the camera. Let me also show you the, the photo here so you can take a look. This is the photo that we are talking about. As you can see, it's a dark photo of a night camera with not a lot of traffic here. And I can ask the model a simple prompt like analyze the traffic in the attached image. The model is performing the analysis, and we have a hey, display a camera screen grab showing an empty roadway. It's 9, 3 a.m. today. It's appeared to be light. It gives me a lot of information, which is nice. But in order to get this, in order to make it work for our project, what I need to do is get a JSON file with a JSON file, a JSON object with basically the let me go here with the title of the camera, which is in the top right. Top left corner. Also, I have the date here and the general traffic state of the camera. So what I am going to do is I am going to select another image. Let me go back here. Let's pick up this one and use a different prompt. And this prompt is said, analyze the image, return a JSON object with the fields title, image, traffic, and date get the title from the top left corner, get the date from the bottom right, and the date, and get me a value between 0 and 100 to get the traffic. And we have here the output, which is an amazing JSON with everything that we want. And by the way, in order to get here, I was using this tool more and more with the same model, which is now part of the code, to get this. And hey, it works, and it works great. So now you know. If you want to test something, if you want to give it a try, if you want to learn more about this, Give it a try to the AI toolkit for Visual Studio Code. It's a super, super nice one. And as usual, uh, subscribe and like and more. Take a look at the, the Net AI Traffic Jam Analyzer. It's part of the, the, the video description. And see you next one. I hope you like it. Goodbye.